Hi, Sagittarians. Hi, darlings. How are you? Um, I apologize for being late on your readings. Don't think I haven't been tapping into you guys, though. Some of you are totally, aren't even going to see this reading, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you are in bed with your lover, and I can sense that very strongly. Some of you are still looking for love, and it is mainly for you that I am reading. This is going to finish up the month of June and carry over to any timeline that applies to you. And if it doesn't apply, don't let it. Don't make it. These are general energies, my beautiful Scorp I mean, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let me start with my bell. Always clearing of the sacral. All right, beautiful Sagittarians. I'm doing the typical reading where... I have decided that because the energies are funky, weird, and we, there's lots of retro stuff happening and a lot of crazy stuff happening, I would ground my readings to the Celtic cross, okay? Really grounding them right now so we can get to the meat and potatoes of what's happening and see what the energies show for you guys, okay? So, love you. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for the gifts, the readings. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I miss some of you. If you've had a reading with me, you know, uh, I'm right here. You can always have that really good price you got originally. Um, if you haven't had a reading, my prices are extremely good. You can go to my website in the box below and order a reading. You'll get it usually within, generally within five days, but I'm doing lots and lots and lots of training. Here's the main message for you Sagittarians. The main energy over you is communication. Writing journals, writing business plans, writing uh, proposals, writing music, writing songs, writing, um, uh, uh, I'm not sure what you're writing, but someone's writing letters, someone's receiving letters, and it's very elegant to me. Now, because of the setting of this card, um, this looks very regal, like um, business, you know, like a lawyer's desk, an um, something like that. So I'm not certain what's going on, but I think a lot of you are probably dealing with um, business loans, you know, the PIP thing and all that. Um, I'm not, I don't know, but in love, this is sending or receiving messages, texts or something. So let's see, what is the energy of Sagittarian um, in this time period right now? Sagittarian, someone rising Venus. Thank you for being here. I love you guys very much powerhouses. Remember, I'm doing this thing where I'm getting a momentum. Um, the more people that like my videos, they get a bonus. As soon as I've, I know that the majority of people have watched my video, and that's usually like in three days, then I will lay down a bonus reading to carry your energy over and to guide you and see what happens. Thank you for um, your love. Thank you for your trust, your comments, your feedback is amazing. I dig your energy a whole lot. Um, wow, okay, can't take them, and I want to say that, let me spray the Holy Spray, okay, very good, um, there's Holy Spray, uh, it's anointing oil in a bottle, and that's available on my website if you're interested, okay, Sag, here we go, let's cut it, let's get our, get our reading done, okay, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit, help me to channel for Sag, Okay, you're showing up as somebody. Um, this is a tough energy to call you out on. Because it is someone who's not telling somebody everything or not telling it to them correctly. Maybe misrepresenting yourself to somebody. I don't think you should. I, I'm, I, I have to stop right now and say this. That... Um, mm, Give me one second. Oh, God, you guys. Interesting start. I had to have some coffee because I've got to finish these love readings. Honeys, whatever you're doing, you've got to pay attention. Let's see what's crossing you. Feeling like you're... Um, not able to find your true north or seeking your true north 
any way that you can find it. You have been in a situation dealing with some kind of business, government or marriage, um, and recently you have, uh, your world's been kind of turned upside down. Somebody, either, here's what's happened. Something has happened and shifted your dreams and plans. And recently, a lot of things you were working on had to be shifted into something else in even a relationship, a love relationship. This could be a Pisces um, that some of you have divorced from, a Pisces, because they were deceitful, or they thought you were. And you started to say, wait, I, I can't do this with a Pisces. That's just a thought, okay, my loves? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I see the fact that... Um, the moon showing up here just shows me that you're going through cycles. Your mind is on, on your fortune, on, on good luck now. You're feeling like you're starting to get some balance back um, in your love life, and you're feeling lucky. This is absolute luck. Um, what shows up in the future is some of you will be taking a chance on something new, a new love, and you're being seen. No reverse on this one. You're being seen as someone who's been at the wishing well praying for their dreams to come true, going through changes, going through shifts, learning how to uh, manifest by writing, reading, or get, you know, to get lucky somehow. Your environment shows that of someone finding you a couple, same species, you know, wise people that find each other, wise people. Spiritual people, shamanic energy shows up. So y'all are in this shamanic energy right now. You're doing something together. I like it. I like it a lot. What you're worried about, though, is that you won't be able to manifest um, anything long-term. You think it'll just be taken away from you. Some of you are living in that kind of fear feeling because of this. But I want you to know that when you are the moon in reverse, you have been through... Double bullshit, shocking, shocking trauma. Boom, boom. And like I say, it's like the number five. See, three and two is five. So it's like the number five, like this, and then it goes up, and then it goes right. So you're cruising along through life, and you work hard, and you get everything lined up, and your relationships are going smooth, and you're on path, and everything's really good, and something happens, and crash. They make you take a hard right. And then crash. You just go a little bit more, and you rebuild, and you take another hard right. Same thing. The opposite side, uh, the other side of the moon, the dark side of the moon, is when you've seen it all, and you come out completely new. And you either have in one of your hands a bowl of phosphorus water because you know how to nourish the nations, and you have psychic skills, if you tame them and use them appropriately. Or the cosmic egg, knowledge of the universe. And no one can tell you differently. Yeah. Your concern is that you won't build a legacy. Now, love. The outcome is that you will indeed uh, meet someone. This person will be very sexy. Or you could be dealing with them now. Or this could be yourself. Because, look, he's got red on. Um, eight, nine, ten. Probably Scorpio, though. Um, no. It doesn't matter who this is. This is a masculine. This is Mars. This person's very forthright, very very aggressive, uh, uh, passionate. Passionate as hell. And, and you're just going to take a gamble on it. I don't know. That's what I see. So I'm going to clarify these for you, my loves. Let us see. Why is Sagittarius energy? Showing up as a snake. You know, you've got that uh, Garden of Eden thing where you say one thing and mean another is what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm going to call it real what I see. It's only general energy. What the hell? I want to know what that is, Spirit. Tell me what that is for Sagittarius. Tell me what that is, Spirit. Temperance. There you go. All right. You canceled out the negativity of that. By keeping yourself in check. This is your very own card. You're like, look, I have a dark side. I'm going to take my time to show it to you. Okay? Whatever that is, only dark side. I mean, 
I've dealt with hard fires and, and emotions, and I'm using my emotions to keep my passion in check. Yep. Crossing you is true north energy. Let's find out what that is. For Sagittarians, please tell me. You got the number six here. It's a major arcana. It's the sun in the middle of the sundial. It's a compass. Are you look what's what is this? Whoa. Okay, the compass is to yourself. Um Sagittarian, this could be also um someone you're this is what's crossing you. You're dealing with somebody that wants to be single or is single, and it's an earth sign. Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. They, they're happier being single. That could be a divorce here. Or you're being crossed by being single yourself and being happy with it. You realize what you have to work with. And you're going to take a chance. You're going to go out. I'm single right now. I'm single. I'm, I'm happily single. But who is that spirit? Show me. Clarify who that is for them. All right. Yeah, well, it is after a tower moment. So, yeah, that makes that reckons very perfectly well. Um, you gather yourself together and get together. You look, oh crap! I'm abundant. I'm abundant. I am so abundant. I'm going to look for my abundance. I'm going to follow my true north after this trauma, and I'm going to my abundance. That's what I hear. I'm going to let down the burdens. The ten of wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm going to put them burdens down. Bullshit. I'm not that person anymore, and I'm going for my ten of cups. I'm going for my happiness. I'm going to find it uh, after the heartbreak. This is heartbreak. She's bold and brave and moving forward. Yes, she's disappointed. She's disappointed. Like I said, you're going around the bend. That's one. You, you're made to go hard right. That's two. And made to go hard right again. That's three events. Three traumatic events. Even within... 2019, 2020, it's too much for one soul to take. Somebody, something's got to give. So in order for you to find your true north, you got to put down the burdens. The Ten of Wands go down, and the Ten of Cups goes up for my Sagittarians. Tell me about the dice. The dice is taking a chance and moving away from something or moving towards something very peacefully and with temperance. Got it together. I'm moving off. This could also be working, moving towards, or a Gemini coming toward you. Uh, Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Moving your direction. Someone you've been praying for. Because you felt out of the cold, out in the cold a little bit. You're still searching for this. That's your outcome now. But because you felt left out or you felt hurt, like somebody just kind of like pushed you to the side, um, and you ended up getting getting it together, right? I'd like to know about this. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. They all want to talk. Sagittarians. What are you guys doing? I love you. I'm, I'm funny. Okay, here we go. What is this? All right. This is what it is. You're worried about the legacy. You're worried some of you are still up in your head. So you're going to have to really process. They say you have to heal it. Feel it to heal it. Let me have another card on that, please. Just stop. Good. Something's going to give you the energy to heal because you're moving in a peaceful place. Hanged man energy showed up. So this universe may hold some of you in a position where your temperance will be tested. And you have to pray every day or you will not be able to release this energy and that peace of mind. And this air sign is coming your direction. Clarify who this masculine is here for Sagittarians here. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Oh, this is going to be working relationship. Taurus. Spirit told me Taurus. Okay. Taurus. Taurus. Spirit told me Taurus, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn crossing you. Somebody following their true north. They're trying to find you. That's what I show. Romance angels, let me see. What do you see here? Wow, somebody's looking for you. They're on the hunt, man. They're on the hunt for you. They're, it's all spiritual. So, you know, the less you mourn about the past, 
the more bourgeois you get and take care of your bee is, guess what? Release it. What does the spirit say to you? Sagittarians, what does the romance angels want to say? They want to say, you're in the process right here. Calling in your soulmate. This is going to take forgiving and learning to get over the heartbreak. Five of Cups here still. Some of you may have to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Or you will honestly discuss with this person when you meet them your real true feelings. Not the seven snake. Not the snake energy. You almost, I think the snake energy had to do with a relationship that did not work. Okay, clarify this five of cups in hand, man, please, for Sagittarians. Past life relationship, that's why it's so damn hard to let go of. But they want you to keep an open mind because your real, healthy, non-toxic soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So keep in healthy mind. Keep your mind on your, on your prizes here, okay? Let's see what the moon cards want to say to my Sagittarians. I love you guys. I don't I don't know what's going on where I'm not um I you're not winning any extra bonus readings, you guys. So do it. Like pick up the get in a battle with Sat Scorpio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe some of you are falling off my channel because YouTube does this thing when you up when you um when you upgrade your YouTube, they 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 automatically disconnect you from some of your favorite channels. So if you happen to come across me and you weren't able to find me before, please subscribe and hit the all button again. And please comment so that I know that you you found me again. I've had three people tell me this week that they lost me. And that's because they update the app. And then what happens is, okay, a fiery climax approaches. One more I, I was laughing at my friend because that card came out of the deck. My, my best friend's husband and I said, you got a card in here. A fiery climax approaches. <laughs> and we laughed our butt off. That's a little innuendo. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture. One more. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Here you are. True North. Wisdom. Putting down burdens after the tower moment. Really getting getting it together and really talking with the divine about what you really want and letting them bring it to you. Sagittarian, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what the archangel has an eye on you at this time, my loves. And yes, I am taking readings right now. So I'm going to an intensive training this weekend on um, Personal Success Institute. It's going to teach me all of my blocks to uh, what, to anything I've been holding off on doing. And I'm going to know by, the, by Monday I'm going to know. So if I'm unavailable... Um, I will be available. I mean, I, I mean, you guys wouldn't know that anyway, any of my darlings, because I've been doing so many personal readings. And I'm open to do yours. Okay, here we go. Archangel for you. Oh, my God. Well, that would make sense. The ability to shift into a higher energy and to be more dignified, you would have to have this skill, I think. And I do believe you guys are very spiritually attuned. Some of you can actually hear rhythms, sounds, psychic gifts. Um, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So I feel like you're being blessed. Sad kill. And one more for my beautiful Saggies. All is well, guys. It's going to be all right. Jeremy, this is what they say. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. The hit, with hidden blessings that you will f soon understand. You have to know that's the way things go sometimes. I see someone I see someone overcoming um, a very toxic situation and moving to a very healthy one. 
It might take time to find that person, but just be patient and stay temperate. You have to take care of your business. Um, you could be dealing with, you could be attracting to yourself a past life relationship or mourning one. And also, it could be someone that was lost to um, life, lost their life. Um, that's a terrible thing to say in a love reading, but I am, I have to say what I get, you know. So I bless, I send blessings to you, Sagittarius, that this is, this is, uh, whatever this is to you, if it fits and it, it feeds your soul, absorb that and, and take the positive out of it. If not, please do not fit it into your circumstance. There are lots of Sagittarius watch these so i'm leaving it at this and i thank you and i love you blessings and namaste sag bye